Hi there, and welcome to She Spice. Jaguar Jaguar right, just inquired as to whether normal is actually the man she needs to use whatever remains of her existence, within light of the fact that he has a clouded side that is malevolent and mean. Puma has been around here posing the right inquiries since any individual who's followed normal's dating history realizes the amount he's been passed around in Hollywood, like he truly is the ideal portrayal of his name. Normal. Yet as per Puma right, normal's abhorrent side runs a lot further than that. The manner in which she depicts him is like Diddy and Lower Casey, if you catch my drift, and she knows this from individual experience anyway. Com has additionally terminated back at Puma, essentially advising her to mind her business and quit lying on his name. Yet is normal truly as underhanded as Jaguar Jaguar? Him, or is she lying for some clout? Let's figure out the injury that made her do this, and I'm like, how might you know you never had SE with her? She used to giggle and kid about it constantly, so he wasn't getting any young ladies in the event that you all have learned one thing about Puma, right? It must be that she won't hesitate to call it how she sees it, regardless of whose sentiments get injured simultaneously. Presently, she's making a splash in the pristine sentiment between J-Hud and Normal, posing the troublesome inquiries and reminding the world that Normal isn't what he's broken doing. Be this one is especially zesty on the grounds that it's not even been three months since J-Hud and Normal had that charming second on her show that in a real sense choked everyone he even finished it off with a major bouquet. And afterward, they had everybody becoming flushed with this charming photograph they shared via virtual entertainment after the show. I'm seeing someone is quite possibly of the most gorgeous individual I at any point met throughout everyday life and she's savvy. She cherishes God she has something genuine rational about her um. She's skilled yet I said I set my standard sort of high cuz she needed to have an OT she. She, she needed to win Oscar on her most memorable film. I said my stand she needed to get her own syndicated program. Gracious okay, definitely so. What stand by what might be said about? But you, however, how, how is your adoration life anyway? Puma Wright hit Jennifer with a rude awakening in a new meeting, where she essentially said all that sparkles isn't gold. Yet before we get into what Jaguar truly said, we should do a fast run of normal and J-Hud's little sentiment so normal. And J-Hud met while they were both working on the arrangement of the film and Hale unexpectedly playing a couple. In that film, fans got the two of them looking genuine comfortable at in the middle, among sets and D individuals began posing inquiries, are they dating? Are they in a situationship what is truly happening here at the time? An insider uncovered that Normal and J-Hud had known one another for quite a long time. Things took a heartfelt turn while they were recording in Philadelphia over the late spring. When the day shoot wrapped, they generally found their approach to each other's side. Obviously, neither Normal nor J-Hood affirmed the bits of gossip as a matter of fact. Jennifer even attempted to gag. Slight use into thinking we were conjuring things up at the point when she was gotten some information about the circumstance among her and Normal. She said individuals make their stories of it, and it resembles, okay, you know how you feel we shot a film together, and he played my better half we got. Two in the middle, between those minutes, well to give for spending time with our boo, fine by me. However, at that point, they wrapped up shooting and Normal and J-Hud were as yet spotted, having a date this act, firmed the bits of hearsay that they were truly playing a couple, in actuality. Then there were different signs, like Jennifer wishing Normal cheerful birthday on Instagram. One time she called him a wonderful man on TMZ yet, He's a lovely man, I will give you that goodwill, thank you, that is. Start and afterward when a journalist said she and Normal made a charming couple. She said thank you. I mean you and Normal made the cutest couple at any point. Thank you then there were the various pictures of time. Him sitting courtside at various ball games together like sweetheart. Anyway, what formally fixed them as a team in the public eye was when Normal flew the whole way to London to help Judd during the arrival of her melodic a weird circle. As per an insider Normal and J-Hud, showed up at the occasion, independently to stay quiet, yet they were essentially invisible until the end of the occasion briefly. We as a whole suspected that Normal was at last starting to think responsibly and that he was prepared to be in a serious, long-haul relationship, which is no joking matter for Normal, since he is in a real sense a mobile warning. He said it himself that he generally took off from connections in light of the fact that he possibly preferred the sensation of being enamored Yet when things begin to get too muddled, he plunges. I mean, he went to treatment to confront his issues head on, and it was getting help that he learned he had an avoidant connection style 
where he wanted to pull out from his complications when the feelings got too high. He also said he got a relationship exhortation from Michelle Obama on the most proficient method to think twice about connections and be a superior accomplice. Michelle Obama, yet it's actually true that it's truly bona fide, genuine, and legitimate. And I mean, a ton of the things she shared with me are very much like insight. It resembles, don't you know, because at times I'm continuously searching for the ideal individual. I really want this ideal, and I'm flawed. So the thing is, am I doing well yet? However, she resembles, look, you don't need to think twice about it, right? Actually, definitely, that is better. Believe it or not, you have to think twice about it. You got to bring down your, I mean, it's miserable. He didn't gain proficiency with the essentials of human connections until his huge age. However, he set forth the energy to become prepared for his relationship with Jennifer, which was great for him, particularly in light of the fact that Normal is presumably the most passed around man in Hollywood. Now that Normal has discussed the kind of ladies he's drawn to, I love individuals who are mindful and cherishingly kind. I like I'm keen, however fun, like individuals, I like individuals who treat others well cause it makes me self-conscious with. And, and I like I like a lady who challenges me, who challenge me, moves me to develop like she assists me with developing and I assist us, we, we developing a galopy, we support each other. Well, it turns out that there's no deficiency of these ladies in Hollywood on the grounds that in some way normal generally winds up with the best of our sisters and it's consistently muddled chaotic how I there. What's insane is that as harmful as he evidently is, every one of his exes generally have something great to say regarding him after they separate. How about we start with Normal's most memorable public relationship, which was with his child mom, Kim Jones. Normal and Kim were together until when one, 1998, and they were even connected before they split. By then they previously had a one-year-old little girl and he would later uncover in his journal, let love triumph ultimately the final word that he discovered that his girl felt he didn't make enough of an effort to be available throughout her life, and he conceded that his relationship with his little girl was likely impacted by entanglements, encompassing his separation with his child mom, so in spite of the fact that we don't have any idea what truly went down between them, we can expect it wasn't really after his relationship with Kim C began ditting Erica Badu in 2000 and it was similarly pretty much as muddled as his past relationships intriguing that TC really admitted that Erica was his most memorable genuine romance and that whatever you all say regarding the awful box is genuine familiar told XXL magazine that better believe it. The terrible box is genuine man. It could treat you to one more universe in a serious way. That is the point at which you meet someone who is truly extraordinary. You're similar to a man. This lady has got something different, man. It ain't simply the clarity. It ain't the looks. Something similar to Soul Insight, where you're similar to this lady, but got something different. Normal and Erica dated for quite a long time prior to parting and we don't know what caused their separation, but rather fans accept this is on the grounds that neither of them was prepared to settle down anyway. Normal later faulted Erica for the separation, saying she unladed him via telephone. After she began affections for another person, he said she hand gave it to me. I was in my lodging on visit and she called me and resembled hello. I would rather not be in this relationship, not any more that was my most memorable love and tragedy. It's wild that someone so unexpectedly expressed this about Erica. Given the way that he and Kim used to be locked in before they split, does this mean he didn't cherish Kim before he proposed to her? Normal even guaranteed that he was so wounded by his separation with Ayat that he lacked the ability to work. He said with a rot that was my most memorable love where you're simply open and drifting when we split. I was 27 or 28. I was in a cloudiness going through the movement. It was difficult to eat reports, even began zooming around that Erica utilized dim wizardry to put a revile on normal. And that is the reason his connections have been battling since what's significantly more insane is that Eric C once discussed how normal was perhaps of the best individual she at any point met so clearly. Something probably turned out badly. Someplace, and Erica sort of affirmed it when she indicated that there could have been some disloyalty required. On normal side, she said no betrayal is not a huge issue. For me, we are in general conceived clear creatures. I personally am not somebody with an extremely high drive. I don't need clarity for bliss. I really want friendship. I want an accomplice I can rely upon that I can cherish and develop with. 
yet I truly do comprehend the idea of these men I've been with and men it. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.